guys, I'm Ashley and today I'm going to be doing my uni book haul. Now, as you might know, I'm just starting a English literature degree and that means I've got to get a lot of books. <laughs> I don't actually have to buy every book that's on my reading list because that would just be way too expensive, but there are quite a few that I do have to get and quite a few that I want to buy anyway, so I've ended up with quite a haul. <laughs> I'm not going to go too in depth about the different modules and what each book is about because honestly myself I don't know yet, but I'll try as best I can and just explain things as I go. So yeah, let's just jump right in. You might have realised that my uni books live here because I am missing half a bookshelf. <laughs> now I did actually have a few of the books on my reading list beforehand so I thought I'd just show you those while we're here. So we have The Odyssey by Homer which is about Odysseus' journey home from the Trojan War. Frankenstein by Mary Shelley which is about Victor Frankenstein who makes a monster by bringing a dead body back to life. Northanger Abbey by Jane Austen which is about Catherine Morland who lives quite a sheltered life but then gets to visit Northanger Abbey and it's kind of like a mock version of a horror because it's really not a horror at all but it has gothic elements to it and it's one of my favourite classics. In fact it probably is my favourite classic. So I am very excited to be studying this. And also Mrs Dalloway by Virginia Woolf which I haven't read yet so that's quite handy. <laughs> so the first like set of books that I have are all from my War and Peace modules so all of these will have very similar descriptions because they're all going to be about the World War. <laughs> now from that set all of them apart from one are second hand and the new one that I got was Vile Bodies by Evelyn Whoa, Whoa, I don't know how you pronounce that name. But this one is set in the years after the First World War and it kind of takes a look at the new glamorised generation that seems to be coming along. It's compared to The Great Gatsby so that kind of gives you a hint to what this book will be like. Then like I said the rest of these are second hand so I got All Quiet on the Western Front by Eric Maria Remarku. This follows the story of a German soldier. Across the Black Waters by Mulk Rajanand which is an Indian classic which is very interesting because I've not read anything war based from an Indian perspective so I'm very excited to get into this one. <laughs> Love on the Doll by Walter Greenwood which I believe takes a look at poverty during the war. I don't know which war but one of them. <laughs> Swastika Night by Catherine Burdekin which apparently is a dystopian and is always compared to 1984 so I'm very intrigued about this one. <laughs> Goodbye to Berlin by Christopher Isherwood. Isherwood? I don't know how you pronounce his name, I will find out. <laughs> but I honestly have no idea what this is about because the synopsis barely says anything. <laughs> Not So Quiet by Helen Zenner Smith which I believe takes a look at the female role in the war. From the synopsis it kind of sounds like it's taking a look at the sacrifices that women had to take during the war in order to replace the soldiers and pick up a new job basically. Mrs. Minerva by Jan Struther. I am so excited for this one because this book came about when a woman used to write a column for the Times during the war and she would write about seemingly mundane things or even events that weren't everyday like having a gas mask fitted. She would tell the story of her and her family going through that but with a sense of humour. So apparently this column really helped lift people's spirits during the war and then eventually they were all compiled together into a book. So I am very excited to read this one. And lastly for the War and Peace ones we have From the City From the Plough by Alexander Barron which is the story of soldiers from the 5th Battalion. But yeah and then from here the rest of my books are kind of mixed up because I need to get used to what modules need which books. <laughs> but another second hand one we have Ovid's Metamorphoses which is an epic Greek poem and that's all I know so far. <laughs> This is the last of the books that I got second hand but it is Ulysses by James Joyce and I believe this is a modern day retelling of The Odyssey. I could be wrong but I think it's that. I know for sure that it's one huge book. I'm very glad that I don't have to read all of it. I kind of want to but I don't think I'll be able to because oh, wow. But yes and then from new I bought Sir Gawain and the Green Knight by Simon Armitage or translated by Simon Armitage. This is a medieval poem I believe. I don't really know much about it but I am really excited to read it just because it's medieval and I don't think I've read any medieval lit so that's 
it's about to change. <laughs> then I have Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte. I do already have two editions of this, but they wanted this edition in particular because of the introduction in the beginning. And I'm not even mad because I'm collecting these editions of Penguin Classics, so it just gave me an excuse to buy it again. <laughs> but this just follows the character of Jane Eyre all the way through her life, basically. I have already studied this book at A level, so by the time I'm done, I'm just going to know every single detail there is to know about this book. <laughs> and then for these last few, I honestly know nothing about them, so I'm just going to list them off. But we have Paradise Lost by John Milton, Othello by William Shakespeare, A Midsummer Night's Dream, also by William Shakespeare, and Heart of Darkness by Joseph Conrad. <laughs> so those are all the books that I have so far for uni. Like I said, I didn't necessarily have to buy them all, but I like to have them with me so that I don't have to like try and book them out of the library all the time just for the sake of finding one sentence that I might happen to need. But yeah, I do have a few more on the way, like Collected Poems of Celia Plath, Selected Poems of T.S. Eliot, and The World's Wife by Carolyn Duffy. I do have those on the way, but they've not turned up in time for me to do the video, but yes. Those are the books that you will probably see more of on this channel because this is all I'm going to be reading. <laughs> Let me know if you've read any of these books and your thoughts on them. If you have your own reading list and I'd love to hear about it, like what sort of books you have on them, whether you like the reading list or not. So yeah, leave any comments down below. I'm very happy to read them. I hope you have a lovely day and I shall see you next time with a new video. Bye!